left Nice at 6 a.m. Well, our train left at 6 a.m. Woke up at 4.30 a.m. to walk to get our Uber to get on the train at 6 a.m. We arrived here in Paris at around noon. And today is the first full day in Paris. I've never been here before. So I'm really excited. We've kind of been like sleeping in and resting because it's just been a go, go, go past two and a half weeks. So today we're gonna go and get some coffee. It's already noon, but we're gonna go get some coffee, some breakfast slash lunch, perhaps a brunch, and then see where the day takes us. I have like a lot of things that I kind of want to see, but we only have two full days here. So whatever we're by, we're just gonna go and do. Yesterday we saw the Eiffel Tower. It was pretty sick. But yeah, that was just like a spur of the moment. Decided to ride bikes there and that was awesome. Mon première fois. Yeah, I know a couple French words. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup and then I really don't have that many outfits, but I'm gonna wear a black sweater, my linen pants, and then I'm gonna be on the hunt for a rain jacket because it's raining every day here. We're raining every day. And then we're going to London and it's raining every day there. Silence. Last night I got two postcards and I'm gonna send them to my grandma's today. Grandma, 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 grandma. What are they called? Stamps. I have to find a stamp. I don't know where to get stamps in France. I guess the post office. This is in our Airbnb. I literally want it. I don't know what loop bar is, but I want it. Ready to hit the streets of Paris. On y va. On y va. hills of Montmartre. We just had a nice little cup of coffee. Of, of Walmart? Double espresso. We both want to run up these stairs right now. Smoke the cig. Alex had a little ciggy and now we're about to go up the, <clears throat> the really big stairs. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought it was just this first stairs. No. We haven't seen much of Paris yet but this is my There's favorite. This is my favorite area. It reminds me a little bit of West Village in New York and it's just really cute like old cobblestone streets. A lot of little restaurants and stores. We haven't even made it to the top yet. I don't know why. I don't know, actually don't know why we're over here. Okay, let's go. Oh, we just saw a gondola. We're gonna take the gondola down. I don't know. Eep. Nice was beautiful weather. Now we're back in the rain, but it's okay. It's honestly a vibe. It's a vibe. Okay. Here's the, here's the issue. I don't know Paris well at all. I really don't know like the good places to go to. I did ask one of my friend's restaurants to go to who is from France, um, but that's about it. And now we're probably just gonna walk around. Alex wants to get a pair of shoes. I shouldn't spend any more money because I have no more room in my suitcase. Also, I have no more money left. So later we're gonna get dinner of some sort. I'm like trying to get around on the little French that I know, but a lot of the times the follow-up questions will really throw me off and I've just been like, je sais pas. And then they know that I don't speak French and then they speak to me in English and it's perfect. Everyone here dresses so well. I tried to dress well today, but I also didn't bring that many outfits because I just packed in a carry-on and it's cold. We just got dinner at, what's it called, Suzy Q's? Suzy Wong. Suzy Wong in the 11th arrondissement. And it was so good. I stopped vlogging for a couple hours because we almost got robbed. It was kind of our fault. We're going back to the apartment right now. And then we're just gonna chill. 
déjà deux semaines, c'est chaud. Surprise, I'm back in America. Yo, I want to address the title of this video because I think it's one of the main things that I've really noticed a difference between people in Europe and the US which is iPhone usage people in Paris and Nice were not on their phones nearly as much as people are here in the US walking around on the streets and the sidewalks and on the beach people were just not on their phones nearly as much as people are here. And while we were traveling between cities, I noticed that there was such an emphasis on people entertaining themselves with print media, like magazines and newspapers and books. You're probably like, Kira, shut up. Like, it's, it's not 1990 anymore. And to that I say, I know. People in Europe haven't quite fallen victim to social media and our iPhones compared to how we have here in the US. I felt like such when we first got to Nice, I felt like such an outsider being on my phone. No matter the situation. For example, like ordering a cup of coffee. If I took out my phone to wait for my cup of coffee, I felt like I was being stared at and I, I kind of felt rude not paying attention to what was going on around me. And I don't know why, but I did not expect to feel that way at all. I think traveling to these places made me realize how much I'm on my phone personally and how much people are on their phones here in the US. I don't want to go off on too much of a word vomit session here, but I think it's just something to really think about. I think it's safe to assume when your culture values education, socialization, history, and art, the people are way less likely to fall victim to social media algorithm tactics, if you will. I'm not saying here in the US we don't value those things. We do value those things, but not nearly as much as we do politics, entertainment, and social media. Like I said, it is just something to think about, just something to ponder. Maybe next time you go get a cup of coffee and you're waiting in line, don't take your phone out. Or if you're in an elevator, don't take your phone out. Just feel a little awkward and feel a little bit uncomfortable and see what it does for you. Read a book, read a newspaper, read a magazine, or just look around the room and notice how many lights there are. I don't know. Yeah, that was something that I noticed and I just really wanted to talk about and I didn't only go to France, I also went to Ireland and to England. Ireland is very much unplugged in that way because where my family lives is very rural and there's barely Amazon delivery there. I really enjoyed not being on my phone, I also wasn't working so I, I was on my phone a lot less for work too. But yeah, now in my own home, I'm just trying to value certain things more than social media entertainment. Anyway, thank you for watching and let me know what you think. Have you been to France? Do you feel that way? Have you felt that way or do you think I'm crazy? Okay, I love you. Bye!